welcome back to a new weekly vlog. I'm currently filming a Zara spring transitional haul. So it's not very like dresses and everything like that, but it's like pieces that you'll want in your wardrobe to get you from winter to spring. And yeah, I feel like this period goes on for quite a while. So I thought this would be quite good, like just to share some key pieces that I am looking at for my wardrobe. I hope you're doing well. So I've just received the loveliest little delivery, which I thought I would tuck in with you because I knew this was arriving. I think everyone will definitely agree. This is very much something that Amelia Taylor loves. It came in such a lovely box. So I'm gonna take a picture for it from a brand called Miss Macaroon and One Gin. They've done a collaboration to support a lovely charity. So I'm gonna open it up with you. So here we go. Miss Macaroon and One Gin Ethical Hampers, a perfect gift for Mother's Day. We bought two of our very favorite things in the world together, gin and macaroon, to celebrate 10 years of Miss Macaroon supporting young people with multiple and complex needs into work. We join our forces to create a range of beautiful products that will make a difference to people's lives here and on the other side of the world. We're so excited to introduce you to an exclusive Miss Macaroon and one gin partnership with a brand new gluten-free macaroon flavor mm -hmm. macaroon flavor profiles complementing one gin's distinctive botanicals the flavors include a warming spice apple aromatic sage sweet mandarin refreshing lemon and rich tonka tonka bean love with your help this much we can inspire people to choose an exceptional treat for mother's day and one that will make a real difference we are offering two sizes of hampers which will be delivered for pre-order from 1st of march and to deliver from 8th of march and are available exclusively from missmacaroon.co.uk and the spirit of one at miss macaroon we're baking a brighter future every penny we make in profit is invested in helping unemployed young people gain skills that will change their lives Exceptional spirits that make a difference. One Gin is the first gin created to give back to the global humanitarian cause, turning the UK's love of gin into a force for good. See, I knew there was a reason I loved gin. And funding life-changing water products in the world's poorest communities. Changing lives one bottle at a time, one person at a time, one day at a time. How can you help? That is lovely. So they've kindly sent me a hamper and it is to obviously, of course, share with you guys. This is not sponsored, this has just been kindly gifted to me and I happily said yes. I mean, macaroons and gin. Yeah, I thought I'd show you what I got. So first up, you receive a gorgeous packaging like this. So this is the one gin, such a beautiful, such a beautiful bottle. In this hamper, we have brought together two of our very favorite things, gin and macaroons. Very excited, so I'm just gonna partially film this for you and obviously take photos for Instagram. So first up we've got some macaroons. There's milk in here. That means I can't eat them all for hell enough. So you get these lovely macaroons. Look how gorgeous and colourful they are. How beautiful is that? And they're gluten free and obviously they are have been created in inspiration of the gin flavours. So you've got things like spiced apple, aromatic sage, sweet mandarin, refreshing lemon and tonka bean. They look blue and marvellous they do. And then this is the bit I'm very much excited for. Oh wow. Have you ever seen such a beautiful gin bottle? That is stunning. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Sage premium London dry gin produced in small batches in England. Oh, absolutely stunning. That is beautiful. So a massive thank you to Miss Macaroon and Juan Gin for sending that over. Right, so like I was saying, I was mid doing my Zara video. I am currently doing the real part of it first just to like create some outfits, which comes quite handy because when I talk about the clothes, I can kind of say how I would style it. But also as well, when I go take some photos outside, I have some outfits in my head that I need to shoot. A bit early in the morning for a macaroon and a gin and tonic. But I feel like this will be very enjoyed over the weekend. Honestly, this day has been mayhem. I feel like I've been running around so much and then I was gonna go for a walk. But I'm so glad I haven't now because I've got so much to do and I can't believe the time. So I'm gonna go make a coffee. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a decaf coffee, but I'm gonna tell myself it's full of caffeine because that's what I need right now. Um, we have got coffee 
coming on the way but uh, hasn't arrived yet so I'm just waiting for that to arrive but I've just filmed my Zara haul which I'm so obsessed with if you haven't already watched it then go and check it out it will have gone live already and yeah no really happy with it I've also I need to have a little catch up with you guys Thursday I have a life coaching session this is my second one and I have been a little bit quiet about it just because I'll talk to you another time about it um but no it's going really well but we'll have a conversation when I'm have the time so I'm just gonna go make myself a coffee anyway so thank you it's lovely well, it's really nice. Yeah. And just get in pictures. <laughs> Mina. <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning guys. Hope you are doing well. So I've just filmed a breakfast reel. I was kindly sent I don't think I've actually told you in this vlog. I was kindly sent a little bundle of goodies from the Coconut Collaborative and they've sent some dreamy pieces. So I'm going to do some different food reels, not because they've asked to, but just because it gave me a bit of inspiration to be like, hmm, what can I do with this? So today we're having like an eaten mess, overnight oat porridge -y chia pudding mess. We have got chia and oat overnight oats and we've also got some coconut yogurt on there, banana, lots of fruit and some peanut butter. So yeah, so that was what I wanted to create, something really easy and yummy for breakfast. So I've got a few more things to play around with. We do have a custard from them which looks amazing. So I think we're going to do a crumble over the weekend, I think we said. So we'll do that, that'd be really lovely. And yeah, just have some fun with it. Maybe do a dessert with them. Um, we had these like banoffee pods the other day and they were delicious. And we put some biscuits on top and it was beautiful. Just like a really nice, easy dessert. So maybe we'll do that with the mango one um, or the vanilla one and then I'll film it. So yeah, so lots of inspiration from that. So I'm gonna actually tuck into this and get on with the day. I have had like a really random morning of emailing and stuff so I feel like it's taken me forever to get ready um, but the plan is I just want to eat this, I need to finalise some content I need to send off for approval and um, yeah, get on with my day. And it's a bit gloomy outside, I thought it was going to be sunny, who knows, but I've just done my hair with the Red Ken water, what's it called? I think in my previous vlogs I've done an event with it. Uh, it's the Extreme Recovery, the Extreme Bleach Recovery La Mer treatment. Like this, instead of using a conditioner, you put that in your hair. I'm gonna give that a go, but I'm not really actually happy with how my hair looks today. Didn't really wanna do too much to it because I'm not really doing anything. So just kind of blow dried it. But yeah, I'm gonna crack on, do some admin, eat this, and then get on with the rest of the day. Chef Helena. Bonjour. 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 So guys, it is lunch time. And I think the last, oh, oh, delivery. I think I filmed omelettes last time. So we can omelettes again. Lovely doubling. So I'll probably show you the finished desserts. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious house. guys it is saturday morning now i did film some clips earlier of our breakfast the sun is shining which is lovely this morning we've had a bit of a really pampering chilled morning we read our books helena's currently reading her book still now we read our books with a cup of coffee and then we did a workout with mina who is my brother's girlfriend at 10 a.m and then we made these unreal smoothie bowls oh my god i cannot wait to film it for a real it was mango banana salted caramel protein peanut butter and it was gorgeous it was so delicious so we made those and then we went and sat outside we just enjoyed our smoothie bowls in the sun and it was wonderful it literally felt like summer is just around the corner and just i cannot wait to do it again and again and again i just oh i'm in need of sun at the moment um, i'm just gonna go in with the hollywood flawless filter by charlotte tilbury i will leave all the links below but i'm just going to do a quick everyday makeup look because 
I want to vlog and film today and I always feel a bit more productive and a bit of a bit more myself when I have a bit of makeup on. It makes me feel good. So yeah, I hope you're all doing well and and I did want to come and sit down with you guys firstly to talk about something which I've started recently doing which is life coaching. Something I don't think I would have thought I needed. Like I'm very grateful, I'm in a very fortunate position where I have a very loving family, I am doing really well in my career, I have a very loving boyfriend and lovely lovely friends around me so I guess in a world of needing therapy, life coaching, I don't think I would be stereotypically classed as like having life coach, I'm not too sure but anyway. So I think I've spoken about it a couple of times in my vlogs where I've struggled with really wobbling and anxiety and I don't know how but at the perfect time this lovely lady called Chantelle Marisa got in contact with me and kindly offered to do a collaboration where I trialled out doing life coaching which was honestly I was a bit like hmm it's a bit skeptical i'm gonna go in with the trini london bff serum de-stress and i'm in the shade lucy so yeah so i've been doing by the time you've watched this i would be just coming up to my last session with her in collaboration i'm not too sure if i need to or slash want to book in a couple of more because it's been really eye-opening it's been really good and I'm not gonna lie, I've really enjoyed it. At first, I really struggled with opening up. I'm not gonna go into like full detail because it's quite private. I kind of didn't really know where to pinpoint where my anxiety and emotion was coming from. And honestly, it may not seem very obvious to her, but I've been really enjoying it. And I feel like I've really got a lot off my chest. Maybe not so in words, but just like a relief of like someone's talking to me about this and like really reconnecting me with my emotions and I know it's not going to all come out perfectly when she asks questions but those questions will be stuck in my brain and they're going to be ones that I'm going to be questioning myself I guess throughout my life and kind of being a bit more reconnected with how I'm feeling and actually paying attention to what's going on in my brain and why I'm feeling like that. So it's been really, really interesting. I've been really loving it. And um, so, like I said, I'm going into my third session next week and I've honestly seen such a difference. In the first week, I saw, saw such a difference in a sense where I started taking time out for myself. I'm gonna go in with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer in the Medium 07. And um, so the first week, I started with manifesting. I started with journaling and I started off with that and just started taking a little bit of time out for me in the morning and at night. And when I mean that, I mean like not watching TV or like kind of like like unintentionally doing something for self time like my self time i feel like when you watch tv you're kind of like automatically in like i'm in kind of like autopilot mode and um so yeah so kind of making time to have time to reconnect with myself and really sit down and kind of go how are you feeling today and like really write it out like paying attention so yeah so i'm really enjoying it and i just think it's just such an incredible opportunity to trial and is definitely something that I really enjoy and if you are going to invest into anything investing into yourself and your health and your mindset is so important and that's going to, going to literally show you how you're going to live your life like it's going to set you up for the rest of your life to have this not perfect life but just a happier and freer life and I think everyone needs to do it so yeah i really wanted to come on and talk to you about that going in with my powder this is from bare minerals this is my mineral veil so yeah long story short i'm really enjoying it i did talk about it over on my friday get ready with me stories on instagram yeah i've just seen such a difference in my mindset and i really hope i can naturally carry this on with throughout my life and just have a different mindset and just be a bit more freer i guess so yeah i'm really excited to carry on with her and i might do a couple more just see how i feel like maybe i don't i won't feel like fulfilled and maybe i need a couple more just to finish off this period and yeah i don't know really interesting so i'm really enjoying that i will leave chantelle down below if anyone's feeling a bit low i mean this is probably be the perfect time to maybe see a life coach 
because there's so much going on there's so many emotions obviously pandemic lockdown so our emotions and everything going on in our life is not normal so best time to actually probably do it is now so like i said i will leave her down below she's really lovely it's a really nice 45 minute zoom call with her and um yeah definitely check her out but yeah i'm having a really lovely week super busy and i last night i will also leave i do e-bloggers i contribute my clothes to e-vloggers where you are able to shop them and a donation does go to charity as well and you get them for a really good price and it gives another opportunity for my clothes to go to a new and loving home so i've been doing that so i did that last night helena sat in my room and we just went through my clothes and what i need and what i don't need like kind of like a little bit of a winter to spring wardrobe detox so today i wanted to show you me kind of like reorganizing my wardrobe and maybe kind of doing things for depop i also do have a depop account i will leave that down below as well yeah just going through it all and i'm going to switch around my my coat wardrobe with my clothing wardrobe because my clothing wardrobe is a lot smaller however in summer and spring i feel like i have a lot more clothing items in the winter i literally just wear coats so i have a lot of thick coats they take up a lot of room so that's why they're in the bigger closet so i'm gonna switch those around with you and have like a little bit of a reorganize of my room it is clean and organized but i just feel like it needs a little bit of a sort out so i thought that would be quite interesting doing like a little spring detox and then for the rest of the day i need to do some admin i've got a lot of admin to do so i just want to kind of get that over and done with and then me and house have a really cute pamper night so i bring you along to that because that will be so so fun so i'm just gonna carry on getting ready and all the products i will use will be left down below okay so this is the winter cupboard this is where all my coats are but as you can see there's so much space here and i don't think i'll be getting any more coats because i'm quite content with what i've got so i'm gonna remove this i'm gonna hoover in here because there is a lot of mud in here and i'm gonna switch it with that one over there ones that i've kept out for like this time of year so this is the newest addition to my coat collection i got this from zara i will leave the zara haul down below if you haven't looked at it already but it's this gorgeous like trench styled felt coat in a really lovely brown and i just thought that's such a lovely coat which is still quite warm but it's going to lead us into spring and maybe into summer really lovely bought that because i thought that was a really good one trench coats trench coats are incredible for this time of year they're just so in trend as well i feel like trench coats are will be always and forever in trend in like autumn and winter they're just such a good coat still quite smart so i've got quite a really like smart one and this is from jack wills and then i've got more maybe of a, a relaxed one from fourth and reckless um the jack will one comes like to my knees i think and then this is a shacket from h&m if you can see there's a label on it somewhere this label here if you have any high street brands with this mentico label it is insane quality and it's like a designer brand i believe so um yeah if you see a coat with this in definitely get it because it's incredible quality i I've got this I've had this for a few years now i would say but it's just such a good coat to have in the wardrobe i just love the quality of it i love the color of it i've got that black blazer an essential in every season i've got this leather coat that i've kept on too which is from new look i don't actually wear that much i don't actually wear it loads but i will probably get it out a little bit more this one i just can't say no to i just i absolutely love this coat and this blazer and i really like I don't want to get rid of it and especially right now i feel like i don't need it but when it comes back into the the party and drinking season i probably will definitely regret getting rid of this i have it with matching trousers and it's just such a beautiful set this is from top shop and i got it for i believe my 21st birthday or 22nd birthday yeah an absolute beauty i've still got the label on it bless myself we'll never get rid of that i've kept this one out because it is still that light quality and actually really nice neutral colors for like the winter spring transitional stage so i'll keep this out probably until 
April, I want to say, and then I'll go and put it in the winter suitcase. I have already put a couple of coats up there. I'm quite proud of myself that I haven't actually taken that many up there. I've kept this one in here because it's quite light and it's quilted, so for rainy days, it's a really good one, and it's not that thick either, so even for walks and things like that, it's just a really lovely coat. This is from Karen Millen. I kept this one out. This is probably more a autumn winter coat, but I just thought I'd keep it just in case, but this will probably definitely go up in April as well maybe end of March even and this one again has the Mantico the Mantico label and yeah it's just an incredible brand that H&M do a collaboration with and always incredible quality my white fourth and reckless coat an essential for spring and summer and winter i literally always wear this coat but it's just such a good one for like this time season as well um this is my large h&m coat i don't know if i will keep it out for much longer but i don't know if i'm just saying that because we've got a really nice kind of like a february heat wave so it still can get really cold so i've kept this one out as well just in case for colder days another classic brown coat which is just stunning i love the fit of it this is from river island just an essential for this time of year such a lovely color and then i have some blazers so i've got this really lovely brown blazer which is kind of like an oversized dad style i have it also in black as well and then i've got this really nice sage green um blazer from top shop i have the matching trousers which i've probably shown you quite a lot um so i bought the matching blazer so i can wear them on their own but also together and just it looks really lovely and i love the fit of it i love the color of it just a really good blazer now i've taken the shoes out the cupboard and i'm just going to give it a little bit of a blitz i'm going to hoover it and dust it definitely helped with just kind of like organizing and just trialing out different areas of where i'd want my clothes and it's just so much more space especially in the spring summer you can tell how colorful my wardrobe is <laughs> um but yeah just to organize it a little bit more i feel like i just threw everything in when we moved in so it's really nice to just kind of go through it organize it put like matching coals i have quite a lot of like matching coal pieces together see what works together and yeah just play around see what i actually wear and yeah i'm really enjoying it actually I'm nearly there i don't actually have that much clothes shock horror but i feel like this has been really good just to go through it organize it i think i'm going to put my blazers in here as well just so they're all together let's see how that goes maybe i just keep the duo um piece blazers in there but yeah just to play around i've just got some i just can't wait to dress up um, some really nice dresses in here and it's just an opportunity to really like see the pieces in my wardrobe and kind of go through them and maybe I'll put some on Depop if I've noticed that I haven't been wearing any of them that often but no, yeah really chuffed I'm gonna put this on a new hanger but I've got all these like cords like this shirt and trousers which i absolutely love i got them from h&m in the winter so they were for kind of like a winter vibe but this in the summer or spring would look so lovely like on a sunday like a really chilled vibe or like going down if you're on holiday that would be really nice for a night like a restaurant like a dinner with some sandals and a, maybe under with a bikini underneath so i've kind of put all the shirts together the blouses together and the t-shirts together so i've got a lot of short blazer outfits so i've kind of kept them all together as well so i can just kind of i know where things are paired yeah but it just makes it a little bit more easier i think i might actually hang them so they're not as creased these are from fall from reckless absolutely love this outfit i cannot wait for it to be a little bit more hotter 
to wear in the spring and then i got it also in the gray and then i've also got like a matching cream blazer one from pretty lavish which is this really nice like it's kind of like a more of a cream yellow and that's with a pair of shorts i love matching blazers and trousers i think it just looks so nice so i'm just gonna put them all together because they're like duos and it saves hangers doesn't it really good oversized blazers so like I said with the other pieces, they're just really good for styling on their own, but also as well together as a piece. It looks so lovely. I wore this blue outfit, a really nice like tanned top. And it just looks so lovely in the summer with some sandals. Absolutely loved it. So yeah, so I just put like these three sets together. So they're all together, all neat and tidy. And I'm going to put them with the rest of the blazer. Sets really handy to do just to change it up a bit detox your spring winter collection i really enjoy doing this for a blogger i feel like i don't actually have that much stuff and i really enjoy putting it on e-bloggers and also as well depop so as i said i did just do a couple of bags to e-bloggers this morning so they'll be up probably in a in a month's time maybe and um, they've got quite a few clients on there it's really good so definitely go and check it out like i said i sell quite a lot as well on depop so yeah check that out as well anything that i think i want to sell on here definitely be on depop so i'm gonna leave like that for now and let's go and do the coat wardrobe room is looking a bit more organized now i've just done my coats that's all organized and everything i did for my e-bloggers is gone i have space so I want to kind of organise that later, but I've got some jobs I need to get on with. Yeah, just looking a lot fresher. That needs to go to a charity place somewhere. Ignore those boxes. Office is kind of like a kind of like a dumping ground of the weekend. House is just reading in here, and I'm gonna do some work. I might quickly make a lunch before starting. Um, doing a little bit of peckish, but it's so nice outside. I can show you my garden. It just looks so lovely. The sun's out. My little bookworm. <laughs> Salade and then do some work good afternoon guys so it is half free i have done some work and um oh last time i showed you last time i spoke to you i'm gonna take these off last time i spoke to you i did a little bit of zhuzhen in my room and you know when it feels really like organized that's how i feel and then i've just been doing some work and now helena and i Hels has finished her book which she's very happy about we're gonna go and sit on the park. We're gonna go and get some like bits for later. But first, I think we're gonna go and have a little sit on the park. I was kindly gifted these drinks to try from Bodega. Bodega. Um, Bodega Bay Hard. I'm not gonna say that word. Um, these are cherry mango and goji berry alcoholic sparkling waters. So they're like healthy, but fancy at the same time. Hi. Hi. So we're gonna. Have these on the park, in the sun, enjoy the last bit of sun. Go and get some bits for tonight's pamper. Very excited, could do some clay making, maybe paint the toenails. <laughs> what a cracking evening. And mani pedi. Mani pedis. And a face mask, fill a face mask. Got some face masks under my bed. So yeah, it's like we're gonna go and enjoy the rest of the sun. And I'll probably take you with me. I don't wanna push you farther away, no I don't wanna play no games I just wanna call, see if we're okay, babe All I wanna ask you is We're gonna do a bit of clay making <laughs> I don't know if to open, should we open it? Should we open it dry? I feel like you just play with it I and mean, that's it you just gotta be quick Hey guys, it's Amelia from Casa. Phase one, we're gonna, I'm gonna leave a picture on the screen. I'm gonna do like a circular one. Oh my god! I don't wanna push you farther away, no. I don't wanna play no games. I just wanna call, see if we're okay, babe. All I wanna ask you is... my battery died but these are the final final masterpieces please get in contact if you would like to purchase any of these 
These are Helena's, super cute. I really like the leaf one as well, that's really pretty. And I like these ones, they're like good classico ones. Mm. And then I've tried to kind of match Hell's as well. Definitely modelled off of what I had in front of me, <laughs> that black. The black candle holder down oh. there. I was literally oh my looking, God, yes. looking at it being like, oh, how, yes. they, how did they do that? <laughs> so good. And then I kind of went for some teacups. <laughs> I love them. So cute. And then, yeah. These two are like estranged colours. They're kind of like sea urchins. creatures, like urchins, yeah. So there are our summer ones. When we have the like, <laughs> the fish, the yeah. salads. Oh, I can't wait. But yeah, they're so cute. There's definitely a sea, sea underwater thing. Yeah. Shell. Yep. Sea Snail. Snail. Yep. Urchin. Yep. Coral. I love it. Seaweed. <laughs> Seaweed. But yeah, that is our final production. Now, do you think we should start cooking dinner? Yeah. We're gonna do some celeriac steaky. Oh, We're doing like dinner. a kale bait, which we've previously done before. Um, but yeah, we thought that'd be really nice. Some broccoli. We got some pop chips with some hummus. Gin and tonics, which are going down an absolute treat. So yeah, we're gonna start cooking and carry on enjoying our delicious gin and tonic. Make some fancy celeriac steak mm -hmm. and enjoy the evening. <laughs> Hells has just called this a concept dish. <laughs> so, we have trialled a celeriac steak, which kind of looks like roasted pineapple. <laughs> and we've done like a kale, cannellini bean and tomato, bits and bobs, broccoli. It looks quite healthy. It looks very healthy. And we're gonna have it with some sriracha, chili lime pickle, whilst we embrace our beautiful candles. <laughs> Morning guys, so. It is Sunday morning, we have blitzed the house, I finished my book, which was amazing, I'm very proud of myself, and we are off to go to walk to Sloane Square, which will be really lovely. It's a little bit gloomy outside, but I think the sun will come through later on, but I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit. So I'm wearing these new boots, which I'm so obsessed with, but I had to go to size down because they were a bit too big. Um, and I'm hoping that they'll like just stretch a little bit. They are comfy, um, but they've got quite um, structured paneling, if that makes sense. So I've put some premature, I love using the word premature now, it's my new big word. Plasters on just in case, and I've got a plaster with me. Wearing my new Zara jacket that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Zara, jacket, shirt, grey jeans, Chloe boots, and some new YSL sunglasses which I'm doing a collaboration on so yeah all ready to go so I will take you along with us guys we just did a little shoot honestly this place unreal um so yes we've done a little shoot and we're gonna go and grab some well needed coffee. I'm really craving some coffee. And we can see the sun is coming out. Um, yeah, but it's a really quick walk actually in the end, wasn't yeah. it? So, really lovely. I think it's one of my favorite walks because I just love Sloan Square so much. And I'm with my little bestie, Dee Dee. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't wanna push you farther away, no. I don't wanna play no games. I just wanna call, see if we're okay, babe All I wanna ask you is I don't wanna push you farther away, no I don't wanna play no games I just wanna call, see if we're okay, babe All I wanna ask Sunday night, crazy! I actually quite like that they do fireworks yeah. Hello guys, so it is Sunday evening now I have been cooking up a storm. Oh, I noticed that I was edited back and I've noticed that some of the footage is a little bit blurry. So I apologise for that. But I'm cooking up a storm. Sorry for the fireworks. We have a little mushroom wellington cooking away. Look at that little sweetie. Then we've got like loads of baked carrots, sweet potato, normal potato. So yeah. On it goes. Set off the fire alarm. <laughs> but dinner is served. So the mushroom wellington, I think it was these burnt bits here. 
but we're gonna tuck into this and then all in the end of the vlog so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week see you next week bye, bye.